This is not looking good for America. I want to be very, very clear. I'm proud to be an American. I built multiple companies in America. It's the freest country in the world if you take advantage of the freedom. But as Americans, we need to pay attention to what is actually happening right now. Now, I've been stating that we're going to an asset-backed currency, and I've gotten so much hate and so many comments on my social media saying that I'm crazy. Well, guess what? Russia, Russia's largest bank, issues a gold-backed a gold back digital asset. So it's Russia's bank went for it. Gold back digital asset that their clients have access to. Now remember, the first thing that America did when Russia invaded Ukraine is we took them off the Swiss system, the old archaic banking system. During this time, the BRICS countries, some of the countries I can't mention on here because they'll shut down your TikTok or it'll get banned. But the BRICS countries have been stacking, stacking gold. Now here's why they're stacking gold. I want to provide some education. Since 1971, America detached from the gold standard, making the American dollar fiat, which represents fake money. A dollar represents nothing other than your perceived value in it. So around 1973, America was like, uh-oh, we better do something about this. So we worked with the Saudis to create what's called the petrodollar. What we did is we provided defense to the Saudis for a deal that said all oil would be traded in U.S. dollars. Now, this has been happening since 1973, but you're going to start to hear the word de-dollarization. Just go to my YouTube channel, link in bio, I'll break all this down for you. Many countries are working to de-dollarize from the American dollar because the stranglehold and the weaponization it's done since 1971. So countries like Canada that hold a lot of American dollars on the reserves are starting to get a little iffy and scared because the U.S. dollar is in a tough position. So if countries come together and decide to de-dollarize, what does that mean for the U.S. dollar that is dominating right now? So with our interest rates skyrocketing, that increases the value of the dollar and us crushing other countries, people are getting frustrated. They're stacking gold and Russia just showed us that what I was saying was true, that they want to go back to an asset-backed currency, which would balance out the monetary system, bringing back in an even playing field. We're going to go to a bag of currencies, which is actually going to regulate the financial system versus the dollar dominating the financial system. There's one country that starts with a C that's in the BRICS that is a dominant force right now in the financial system. I highly recommend you dive into Ray Dalio's studies and understand historical patterns for 500 years. We are living through unprecedented times. So we're gonna go into a digital currency, asset-backed digital currency, blockchain technology, on-demand liquidity. Warriors, rah!